The toolbox that I use is an orthopedic surgeon. It has for a long time been dependent on some pretty basic things. Hammers and saws and scalpels and tweezers. But we've never had that missing tool, which is real-time data. EO at uh, 910. Our uh, 1050 uh, is also a four-week follow-up of total knee. was doing very well. Almost every physician has certain health information they need. Rarely is it processed and fed back to the patient. Through measurements and very specific data analyses, we're working with SAP to build it into our care process and make it part of our everyday practice. So let's take a look at your knee. Let's start with your right knee. Bob had had multiple procedures over time because he's an active guy, and none of them had achieved the goals that he was looking for. This is what you look like with your standing picture. With the surgeon that I'd been dealing with, there was very little discussion about knee replacement surgery. He essentially said I was too young, but when I came to see Dr. Sparks, there was no judgment. It was very much a conversation about the quality of life that I had lost. Prior to anybody ever getting to surgery, we want to try to predict how they're going to do. We should learn from every patient and use technology to make the very next patient benefit from that knowledge. Using science-based surveys to make clinical care decisions in real time. Pull your toes up towards your face. This one up for me. I want to use big data and the technology available to us to actually be able to tell a patient this is what works the vast majority of the time, and we've got the data to show it. What we've done is we've collected data from all of our patients who've had total knee arthroplasty here. The patients who've required arthroplasty are down here. So if you're up here, you may not be ready for surgery yet. When Dr. Koenig told me I didn't have to have knee surgery, it was such a relief. I joked with my husband. I said, you know, I could dance out of here. I'm so happy. It is actually a partnership to help people get through this. And it's the analysis of data that adds to their ability to make a decision. And Bob wanted to get back to an active lifestyle with his family. So he came for surgery on both of his knees. Having knee replacement surgery was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Just the feeling of being back on skis and not having pain. I still remember that moment very well. We are trying to change the world. <laughs> Synthesizing data in a way that patients can use it at a time when it's still possible for them to change their outcomes. Not after the fact. That's huge.